our international game was there. Were you hoping that Andy Carroll was one of the England players who took sleeping pills? <laughs> Listen, I think it's, um, it's quite interesting because the players do have to recover. I'm sure he'll be uh, the threat that he is. He's a good football player, he's a good target man. He does a great job for West Ham um, and for England. And I'm sure he'll be available at the weekend. Both you and West Ham both came up together from the Championship. Um, but do you think that this weekend is going to be a very different match from the matches that you've been used to? Obviously, there's been changes to both teams, but the added pressures of the Premier League as well. Yeah, I think it was great for both football clubs to get back to the Barclays Premier League. Um, we both went up via different avenues last season. Um, but it was great that West Ham have done it. It's great that Southampton have gone and done it. Uh, and at the weekend, we're going to meet back in the Barclays Premier League. They've had a great start to the campaign. You know, they're in the top ten at this moment in time. Very effective in how they play. I've got a lot of respect for Sam Allardyce and what he's he's done in football. And I've loved listening to him over the years when I've gone on coaching courses and he's presented because there's a wealth of knowledge that you can pick up. Um, it is about winning games of football. Uh, but obviously here at Southampton, we've got a certain brand of football that we want to try and develop and promote. And we're looking forward to, to maintaining that. Very different styles in the two clubs in football. Are you, uh, have you changed the format at all? Are you anticipating a clash of styles, perhaps? I think, in, I think in every game, you look at a team, the objective is to win. Um, so you've got to find a way to win. And obviously, um, West Ham will play a certain way. We're looking to have our own Southampton way here. We want to play 4-3-3. We want to get midfield players who can pass the ball and rotate. We want to get full backs who can get forward. We want to score goals and entertain the crowd. We've got to make sure we keep the ball out of the other end of the, the other end of the pitch. So it's a brand of football that you know we want to promote, but we've also got to win. And you've got to find a way to win with the personnel that you've got. Um, and I think that's the important thing that you've also got to remember. Can you marry both up? Can you play winning football? Can you play a brand of football that your club wants to be associated with? And obviously here at Southampton, we've got our Southampton way. Uh, that we want to promote and bring the youngsters through into the first team um, to get right. Uh, you mentioned Nathaniel Quinn uh, might be playing this weekend. He wasn't playing a little earlier this week for England under 21s, but was he, the rest of the squad and you, shocked at the scenes in Serbia? Yeah, the unsavoury scenes were, and there's something you don't want to see in football, um, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of talk and a lot of investigation that goes on after that. The FA have come out very strongly uh, against what happened in Serbia, the allegations anyway. Uh, there's not so much of a problem, obviously, here in England, but on the day that John Terry has apologised for the comments that he made a year ago, do you think that there are still issues within English football? I think we've got, you know, it's society that we've got all over. I think everybody in football understands or must appreciate that they are role models. They have a responsibility to themselves, to their football clubs, and obviously for the youngsters and the, and the generation that we live in. And um, you've got to be responsible in what you do. Do you think that now, Terry? Has you've obviously had trouble keeping out goal, but Mario Shida helped Japan to a clean sheet in France and tested himself against Brazil. How pleasing is that? How, how does he come back? Can he come back with a smile on his face? I imagine probably. Yeah, we try to make sure everyone's got a smile on the face here at Southampton because it's a great place to be, it's a great place to work. We want that environment that people enjoy coming into work, to work hard. Um, but it's great that he has gone and represented his, his nation. Great result in France. And obviously, great test for him to play against Brazil. I watched most of that game, and uh, you know, there's some great play from Brazil. But it's only going to improve him as a player. Uh, another Japanese player here, Katnari. Is he? How's, how's his fitness? Is he? He's close. He's been joining and training a bit more now. So um, we'd like to think that come maybe the end of next week, he'll be in a better position. Obviously, we've got the Leeds United game coming up, which would be a good opportunity for him then to be involved in. Arsenal came in. So, um, no issue at all in the performance. <laughs> you know, if you look evening, um, normally by doing that you have a sleep in the afternoon. Um, I know for my own body of playing, so the players needed to probably need a bit of assistance to help them sleep that night, so they can try and get.